her on the show. For more, let me bring in Congressman Jim Clyburn of South Carolina. Congressman, great to have you with us tonight. Uh, thank you so much for having me back. Your reaction to the Senate Republicans, and it is the Senate Republicans blocking the minimum wage bill. Well, I think that once again we've seen uh, that the Senate Republicans uh, are following suit uh, with their uh, House Republicans. They are just absolutely against doing anything that would benefit uh, working men and women. Uh, they are, they saw the rush uh, to put these big tax cuts uh, for wealthy people in the House budget, uh, deny a minimum wage increase in the Senate uh, for working men and women. They are uh, doing a sort of a tag team here today. Uh, and today, uh, as you just mentioned, we met with the chair of the Budget Committee, the Congressional Black Caucus did, and uh, we still, uh, we were very civil, uh, but of no substance. Uh, we are sick and tired of having these pleasantries abandoned about uh, when people are going hungry, when young people uh, can't get uh, the wherewithal uh, to stay in college. We have some historical black colleges and universities that have lost 10 percent of their student bodies uh, in the last uh, year, all because of the policies that are being perpetrated uh, by these Republicans here yeah. in the House of Representatives. Hey, Congressman, do you think that the minimum wage issue is a racial issue? It has a very, it has an adverse racial impact. And one of the things I've learned uh, in those almost 18 years I spent uh, running the state agency in South Carolina, that we have to look at the policy. And we don't worry about what your intent may have been, but if the impact, the result, has an adverse, adverse racial impact, then uh, we see that as being discriminatory. And that's not me saying that. That is what the United States Supreme Court has said. Yeah. That's what Congress has said, that we look at the results of your action in order to term, uh, determine whether or not it have a disparate uh, impact on people of color. I, I think that there are many ways to express racism. I think in, in a policy is one way. Uh, expressing yourself on a policy is a way. And what Clavin Bundy and Donald Sterling did is a different way. But the bottom line here is, is that the policies that you're talking about are holding people of color down in this country. They're concentrating the wealth. Their policies clearly are doing that. And then they're hiding behind the two-word culture, the free market. This is not what the American people want. All of you in Congress know that. But the vote isn't there. Now, the Congressional Black Caucus, as you said, met with Paul Ryan, who has brought in a very radical budget. Sixty-nine percent of Ryan's budget cuts come from low-income people. That's a racist budget, as I see it. Now, that's my opinion. I'm not trying to get you to say that. That's my opinion. Look at you, you know what the priorities are of the people when you look at the budget. He wants to hurt the downtrodden and the working folk of America and give tax cuts to the wealthiest Americans and hurt those on food stamps. What kind of dialogue do you have with somebody that has a budget like that? Well, today, uh, at the top of our meeting, the chair of our caucus, uh, Congresswoman Fudge, me to present uh, to Mr. Ryan uh, the Congressional Black Caucus's approach to targeting resources into communities of need. And I laid out for Mr. Ryan the fact that there are 488 counties in the United States of America where 20 percent or more of the population have been stuck beneath the poverty level for the last 30 or more years. And I asked him, would he join with us in the Congressional Black Caucus? and target resources throughout the discretionary budget into those communities uh, so that at least 10 percent of that money will go to these communities. Yeah. And I reminded him that this is not partisan here. Uh, two, two thirds, fully 68 percent of those counties are represented by Republicans. So we aren't asking to do anything for Democrats. We're talking about do it for poor people. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Congressman, great to have you with us tonight. James Clavern.